Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know why I'm glitching over here. What's up, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Come on in. Gabby, good to see you. Andre, good to see you. Anthony, good to see you. Samantha, good to see you. Good to see everybody here. I see you on X. I see you on YouTube. I see you on the new YouTube. I see you everywhere. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Good to see everybody. Good to see everybody. Like and share your page for those of you on Facebook, those of you on YouTube. Do me a favor, share your page, by the way, of uh, if you're on the phone. You know, and uh, maybe you can share it with your contacts, stuff like that. Let people know. You know, I used to be really, really good at letting people know, guess what? We're on. You feel what I'm saying? By, um, you know, maybe about five minutes before time. And I'll, I'll try to do that, whatever the case be. But yeah, but uh, sometimes we don't have that, that much time because it's so busy. The stuff that we're doing offline, you feel what I'm saying? So look, let's get this started. We got some good, good, good content for you today. And I can't wait for y'all to see this. Very, very happy. Very exciting, you know. So listen, y'all, I wanted to say welcome to Manifest Thoughts Podcast. We're helping people bring their imagination into reality. And uh, by way of work and our starting goals is to help at least 500 people, you know, bring their imagination into reality by way of work. If we meet it for the first time, my name is Donald Francis. So happy to meet you uh, with much love, gratitude, peace, respect, and all of that. You only, only see us here, but you'll see us on It's Life Podcast. You see what I'm saying? Located right there on YouTube and on Facebook. If you like short films and entertainment, come right here to It's All You TV, I-T-Z-A-L-L-Y-O-U-T-V. I always spell it out for all of our Spotify listeners. By the way, have you ever heard of heard us on Spotify? Let us know. What's up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? I just want to make sure I can hear my audio really, really well. All right, yeah, so it sounds kind of good. Got my boom arm, you know what I'm saying, and boom mic. And stuff like that. So listen, y'all, today is a good day. We are talking about something that everybody loves to talk about, and that is food, y'all. So we talk about manifesting, you know what I'm saying, good food. And we want to know what your favorite dish is, you know. And by the way, don't forget, we're also talking about um, who's who's winning our giveaways for the day. So I'm glad that hopefully people will start to come in and because uh, you put yourself, we, we got about, what, 23 people that's in our giveaways. But look, we're talking about manifesting food. We got people who are going to be talking about food today. We got some templates. We got some videos for you. We got some uh, shout outs and stuff for you and all of that. So listen, do me a favor. This is going to be good. If you can, like and share your page. Let people know that we're on. You feel what I'm saying? I see people on the business line. I see you, see you, see you. Some people on the personal line, I see you. All right. We're good. All right. We're good. We're good. So listen, y'all, let's talk about it today. I mean, honestly. I love me some good food. And today I want to share some tips of my favorite chefs. And we want to also honor some people who are around New York City who got good, good food. You get what I'm saying? And um, got good dishes, soul food dishes and stuff like that. We randomly spoke to some people up the street. We want to share it with you. And uh, hopefully, you know, uh, it'll be good for you. So Gabby's saying she like baked turkey. Uh, <laughs> the baked turkey wings. Come on with rice. Come on, y'all. What? Yeah. Yeah, and the, and the kidney beans. I like that. I mean, and the kidney beans. I got you. Kidney beans. Kid, kid, kidney beans. I love kidney beans. Pink kidney beans. I love it, y'all. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love the the, uh, the red ones at the same time, too. And uh, she got some good rice going on. Do me a favor real quick for those of you before we get started. Put your, your favorite dish into the script. Let us know exactly. And I see y'all on our private line. Wow, y'all about 50 people deep. I see y'all. I see y'all. If I don't got no, no followers, what do they got? I promise you I got some people. You know what I'm saying? Besides Gab and everybody else right here on our private line and stuff like that so look y'all let's talk about it y'all some good manifesting some good food how do we manifest food so on this channel we oftentimes talk about manifestation have all to do with what's in your thoughts what you're thinking about what you want to bring the past what you want to make reality and so we have so many people who are chefs good cooks around the world around our city who say look i try this season i try that season you know what i'm saying I, I put it together sounds good to me and i feed it to other people you feel what i'm saying and uh that's what you've manifested so look let's talk about it today you get what i'm saying let's let's give homage to some people right away and uh let's talk about some chefs and stuff like that and uh and then we'll, we'll have some in between video for you you know but before we do that let's go straight to our giveaway and then we'll get right out the way <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Donald Francis, and welcome to Manifested Thoughts Podcast, where we're helping people bring their imagination into reality. Yo, we're already giving away gifts, and we're only a few subscribers in. The only thing you have to do is go to ManifestedThoughts888 at gmail.com. One more time, ManifestedThoughts888 at gmail.com. After you do that, you'll type in giveaways and type in one of the topics that we talked about on our platform, and bam, it's over. Just like that. Back to the program. Gonna hit the ground running, running. 
so yeah, y'all, you can also be a part of our giveaways. It's a beautiful thing if you if you do. Um, go right there to manifestthoughts88 at gmail.com. We already have a winner for our giveaway for this particular month. And by the way, it'll be random that we give certain things away due to the fact that we're trying to save and all of that, you know, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Dave is up here. What's going on, Q? That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? I see, I, I, I'm seeing y'all. Wow. By the way, y'all, I, I wish I could just take the camera and turn it around to the other monitor. We got about 50 people that's in our chat line on, on our email list, but I'm glad to see everybody here today. My dude, good to see you. And I'm going to tell you something. I had asked Dave to do something, but I ain't going to blow him up. You know what I'm saying? But I, I did have a couple of people that wanted to do it until they did it for me, you know? But yeah, so we got some good, good cooks on, on the line. By the way, um, we have some good, good cooks on the line. But let's let's get into it, y'all. I want to give homage and shout out to Mrs. Sylvia Woods. You know, she was someone, um, uh, she has a wonderful, wonderful restaurant called Sylvia's right there in Harlem, you know? And I'm going to tell you one thing I love about this particular place. I love their pork chops that, you know, I couldn't tell the difference between the steak in the pork chops because uh, I, I took a butter knife and, and cut it right through the pork chop. And I mean, it went right on through. I mean, butter smooth. Mrs. Sylvia's restaurant, they call her the queen of soul food. And it was founded in 1962, you know, it's established right there in the historic village of Harlem. Mrs. Sylvia is a community of favorite, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Favorite known world's kitchen, you know, it's authentic soul food. It says here 55 years, but now uh, from this day, it's really 61 years. You know, she's been an icon on good food. They had what they call gospel brunch Sunday. They had uh, live Wednesday music, you know, Wednesdays and stuff like that. Live music on Wednesdays, you know, specials and stuff like that. And I'm going to tell you, it seems like an at home environment when you go there, you know, and everybody know that when you want to go and celebrities have been there. You know, a lot of the Harlemites, Brooklynites, Bronxites, you know, you know what I'm saying, Manhattanites, all of them, everybody have come to Mrs. Sylvia's home. And that's exactly what that restaurant replica you know, is a representative representation of her home. And she she's been I mean, really, her food has been very, very superb. And I wanted to give homage to her because she's very, very well known, you know, for various dishes and stuff like that. And they they pretty much put soul food. They didn't want to limit her. So they said she's known for soul food. I can't talk, you know what I'm saying, about Mrs. Sylvia without talking about Amy Ruth's. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, man, Amy Ruth. She's known, you know what I'm saying, for her chicken and waffles, you know? But can I tell you something? She got some good turkey wings. You know what I'm saying, Gab? She got some good turkey wings over there, Amy Ruth's. Some good mac and cheese. I can't tell the difference between, but she... Here, what, what you see on your screen helps us to see a lot of what she is about, how she's family oriented and stuff like that. But again, I put this up there so that y'all would know that she is good for her, her chicken and waffles. I never really understood the concept until I had it. You get what I'm saying? Until I had it. So yeah, y'all, let me ask you a question. Do me a favor, put in your description, what might be your favorite meal? What do you cook if you're a cook? You know what I'm saying? And if you're not a cook, who, who, do, who do you like cooking in your family? And what is your favorite dish off of them? I got a couple of others real quick, but look, let's go to one of the interviews that I've had. Um, there was a young lady, her name is Lisa, and watch what she had to say. Asking people number three questions. Number one, do you cook? Yes. All right. And number two, what's your favorite dish? Ooh, baked ziti. Baked ziti. Oh, <laughs> all right. And so what's, what about baked ziti and the ingredients that you use that might make that so special or distinguished? I put ricotta in mine. Ricotta? <laughs> Anybody put ricotta in mine? You put ricotta in yours also? Ricotta and yours? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Your name is? Lisa. I'm Donald. Thank you, Lisa, Thank for you, doing it. I appreciate it. You're my first one today. Yeah, y'all. So that was Lisa. And obviously, that's, she said she likes baked ziti. She make baked ziti. And uh, by the way, I do put, you know, ricotta in my baked ziti at the same time, too. I ain't going to lie. You know, it just, I don't know, it just gives it some type of height. Anybody know anything about that? My boy, J Jay's on the line. What's up, boy? Uh, good, good to see you. And, um. Is that to, oh crow was that crowell good to see you oh sophia on the line good to see you sherry nickel horse horton good to see everybody hello wow good to see all of y'all wow good to see y'all y'all all coming in they are really packing it out over here in our chat line y'all and our private chat line but it's good to see everybody so yeah so like i said mrs sylvia had been somebody that was good she's known for just you know just soul food generally you know and some good general good specific food Obviously, we know Amy Roos. Anybody ever been to Amy Roos, by the way? Put that in your description. Let me know that you've been to Amy Roos. I love me some Amy Roos. I love me some Sylvia's. 
I can't tell, uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own different styles. I would just say that they're apples and oranges, although they tried to, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, challenge each other or people tried to challenge them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so Dave says ricotta is good in baked ziti. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I say the same thing, you know? Gabby was saying that she loved, you know what I'm saying, uh, some uh, baked turkey wings, you know what I'm saying, with rice. You know what I'm saying? Kidney beans. I love kidney beans at the same time, too. You know, sometimes they just don't like me. So, look, let me tell you something. Another person I really, really admire, and I had his food, and I actually went to his restaurant, Mr. Bobby Flay. You know, now, obviously, this is not in the soul food, but we're looking at all genres, all different cultures, all different, uh, you know, say, ethnicities and all of that. He is known for the what they call the, the crunch burger, you know? He got a good crunch burger. I've never had it. I had uh, more of his soul food on the side, but yeah, Crunch Burger. That's that's exactly what Mr. Bobby Flay is known for. Anybody ever seen Beat Bobby? You know what I'm saying? If you go on any one of the Food Network, you'll find, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, Mr. Bobby. And as you can see, I, I've been doing my, my studies and doing my research and stuff like that. And to know all of what Bobby Flay is good for. But he's good for his flavor. Come on. Bobby Flay is dope, Dave. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my, yo, yo let me tell you, his, his dishes is dope. He's got a good, he got a couple of restaurants, you know, all around the world. And this guy is fire. Have anybody ever heard of this guy? His name is Michael Simons. He's good and known for his macaroni and cheese. He's also someone who's been on Iron Chef, you know? Um, yeah, man, if you ever checked him out, I mean, this guy is good. Him and Bobby Flay almost are like neck and neck because their flavors, and he's more on, Mr. Mr. Michael Simons is more on a Greek side. He's more of a Greek you know, he'll give you a Greek approach on anything. And so what he does is if he got macaroni and cheese, if he has some type of soul food, he'll put a Greek twist to it and yo, knock your socks off. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it will knock your socks off. You feel what I'm saying? My boy Jay, I know my boy Jay cook, you know, but he's good with that macaroni and cheese. And also, he also gives us the ingredients and stuff like that. He gives you the instructions and all of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, it's nothing like if you ever look at Beat Be Bobby, Michael Simon was also one of the judges and stuff like that. And these people are around New York City, you know. And, and one of the things I forgot, man, I forgot to put up a template. My man Guy, Mr. Guy, I think Brew, I think his name is. He does like a lot of the burgers. He's the state dude and stuff like that. He'll go around in each restaurant, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and taste all of their different cuisines. And by the way, Red Hook, anybody on, on the lines from Red Hook, you know what I'm saying, he's also been to Delfonte's, you know, to try out theirs. He's also been to Cat's. And stuff like that but i want to give a shout out to him because i i didn't get a chance to put this, this template up i was too tired and stuff like that yeah y'all so look real quick let's go to a quick commercial be right there haven't you noticed the climate between cops and citizens they think we're the problem i know all right i know we got it, jay tommy is a good cop he's one of our own this this is a direct response to all the pain we carry What did I do? Well, since you don't remember, I'm gonna help you out. Tommy, you didn't think he was gonna let him spread it here. We just need to talk to him about it. Find him! Order in my courtroom now. Yo, I kid you not, y'all. Flashes is going to be fire. Y'all see that trailer? Oh, yo, let me tell you, don't forget, they're also a part of America New Network. You get what I'm saying? And so they also got a beautiful movie, motion picture called Love. You know what I'm saying? You'll fall in love if you are at odds with your spouse after you watch this. I promise you that. You know what I'm saying? So please go go to America New Network. Download the app. You know what I'm saying? Go give us the views and stuff like that. And make sure you look for love. And soon you'll be looking for flashes and stuff like that. And uh, they, they, they're trying to get on everything. You feel what I'm saying? Doing big, big things. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying? The Real Block. Those are my family. You know what I'm saying? I love them, you know, daily and stuff like that. Listen, also, want to ask you a question. Would you like to also advertise your business here? You know what I'm saying? Your book? 
your business, your movie, whatever it is. Listen, all you got to do is go right there to manifest those 888, you know, dot com and put in advertise. You know what I'm saying? We can wait, you know, work out a good deal. You know what I'm saying? And get you up. I want to be a part of your life. I want to be a part of your future. I want to be a part of your journey. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to, you know, saying really, I want you to make it. I want you to win. I want you to just go and just do the thing like Nike, you know? Guess what, y'all? I want to let y'all know real quick. You know what I'm saying? Gerald, y'all remember our homie? You know what I'm saying? Gerald Kelly. You know what I'm saying? He is going to be in Harlem, him and his family with the Prince of, you know what I'm saying, Comedy, Lil Hunter. That's my nephew. You see what I'm saying? They're going to be right there. You know what I'm saying? 508 East 117th Street. That's New York, New York. 10035. Doors open at 7. And showtime is at 8. You feel what I'm saying? So look, get your tickets now uh, because they're going really, really fast. And I promise you, I'm going to have a good time. If you want a good laugh, you will have it right then and there. Yeah, y'all. So look, let's get right back into this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Bobby Flay. And um, Dave, by the way, I want to let you know, he was saying guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. He's this this dude that they're always he's always in the car, you know what I'm saying, driving around, making sure he finds other places that's gonna be dope, you know what I'm saying, with good food, and that man will find some good food. And you know, some I, I follow him. I follow him. I tell you, I promise you, I follow him. So look, let's get into more good stuff. Obviously, we do know. Bobby Flay is definitely that dude. You feel what I'm saying? Michael Simons is definitely that dude. Bobby Flay is good for that crunch burger. And I'm sure Guy know about that because he loves burgers and stuff like that. Michael Simon is definitely good for his macaroni and cheese. Have you ever heard of this guy real quick? Yeah, his name is Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Yo, Gordon Ramsay, man, that is the dude. You know, he's the dude that you want, you want a good restaurant. You want to make sure you're on point. Remind me of my boy Dave because Dave always, when he cooks, he always makes sure that he got fresh stuff. I ain't never seen him use nothing out of the can, I promise you. And you don't want to use anything out of the can around Gordon. He's good, you know what I'm saying, for his beef wellington, you know? That's what he's he's specializing. But, I mean, I, I watched this dude, man. Let me tell you something. Let me put this up. I watched Gordon Ramsay make some ribs. Yo, and I tried to follow this guy with making some ribs, you know? I mean, the way he made the beef baby back ribs was off the chain you feel what i'm saying i ain't even care about the side order you know, i don't care about the side dish i just wanted to, yo and i mean yo when i tell you the way it was just flavorful i mean and and you get the heat then you get the spice and you get the tenderness and you get the the texture man that's bobby flay i mean you know what I'm saying? that's gordon ramsay bobby flay all them all at one time yo my i mean what's going on he said man i love food who don't love food bro Oh, that guy. I <laughs> laugh out loud. Absolutely. And I, I assume you're talking about Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay, man. Let me tell you something. I watch him, you know what I'm saying, when he, when he went to other people's restaurants and said, yo, what is this? Spit out their best meal. They thought it was the top of the line meal. Anybody remember that? Yo, I swear. It was the craziest thing. Like, what is this? You got this out of the can. This is trash, you know, with a few choice words that I can't say on this channel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all. I mean, really, yo. But Gordon Ramsay... His flavors are great. His approach to food is good. If you've never, ever, you know, tried his food, if you've never been to a restaurant of his, yo, you might want to at least go and try and mimic what he does so that you can get some somewhat of an idea of what his food actually really tastes like, you know? Yo, listen, honestly, I went out. We spoke. We just spoke to Mrs. Lisa. You know what I'm saying? There was another young lady. And uh, look at what she had to say. That's what I'm saying. I was literally just telling her that I cook. Wow. If you yeah. don't mind, I would like my audience to know who you are. Hi, guys. So I'm going to keep it very simple today, okay? So it's giving tuna fish. Mm. Put eggs in your tuna. Ooh. Put a boiled egg. Come on. And make sure you put a little sweet, sweet relish, okay? Mm. Got to cut up your onions. Got to put your little paprika. Got to put your salt. Got to put your pepper. Got to put your garlic powder. <laughs> Your onion powder, so although you diced up your onions, make sure you put your onion powder in there, okay? Make sure you use your potato bread. Ooh. That I'm trying to, I'm putting you on gems. All right, now. Not Wonder Bread. No. Potato bread. Potato bread. Thank you so much. You mind oh, thank tell you. us your name, by the way? Awa. Follow me on Instagram, AWA hey. for love. <laughs> Awa for love. Hey. Yeah, yeah, that's Mrs. Hour. She took over my show. I was like, yo, I, I, I can't pay you, but she took over my show. It's like, yeah, so uh, I got this real quick. She knew what she was talking about, about making a good tuna sandwich. And I'm going to tell you something. If you really want to heighten that good tuna sandwich, and but some people don't like relish. Anybody on, on the line like relish? Um, so I like relish. I love relish. I, I use eggs, obviously, you know what I'm saying, uh, in my tuna. you know. But here's the deal. Not only would you want to use potato bread, but how about you lightly toast that joint? 
Ooh, bring it to other heights. Ooh, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Do me a favor. Can y'all, I know some of y'all at work, if you can try to go to the bathroom and sneak in and say, yo, this is my favorite dish. You know what I'm saying? So again, I went around just asking people, you know, three questions, which is, do you cook? What's your favorite dish? And what do you put in it that will make it that much more distinguished? You see what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. Okay. <laughs> That can be harsh. Absolutely. Yeah, he's talking about, all right, cool. You know, Park, look. Yeah, so, oh, by the way, that was Bronx Park East. That's where it is. We're in the Bronx, Bronx Park East. So, yeah, y'all, so what What do you what do you put in your dish? By the way, Dave is somebody, uh, he's probably off the line by now, but, yo, he was somebody, yeah, that dude, he taught me how to make some good string beans before I go to the next. We're going to, there's some good string beans. I didn't know. I used to make string beans like this. I used to take the, the you know, the, all right, I, I used to take the can of string beans. So what? You know what I mean? Pour the whole thing in with the juice and everything. And I would just add some uh, salt, pepper, and some butter and call it a day. But 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 when you drain those bad boys, if you're not going to cut up your own string beans, you know what I'm saying, and you just take that butter and let that thing, you know what I'm saying, save it for a little while, you know, gang, gang. <laughs> oh, you hear my guy? Okay. You know what I'm saying? And you add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. Woo! Let that thing simmer for a little while. Yo, I promise y'all, you have the best string beans in the entire world. I have not made, you know, my string beans the same way after I left uh, the chef Dave, <laughs> his house, you know what I'm saying? I have never, I've never met, I, I promise y'all, man. So yeah, Gordon Ramsay, but let me, there's another dude, and I wish I could put all of them up here. There's another dude, his name is Marco, Marcus, yeah, Marcus Samuelson, you know, um, he's someone who got Red Rooster, uh, the Red Rooster, you know, restaurant. I used to work, security uh right there at uh, harlem right there on uh, uh 116 125th street and uh well, i forgot that that name uh, that other cross street but he's right next to the um what is it? The sports the sports uh office and he's right there at red rooster red rooster is right next door uh <laughs> and they used to have a band every saturday night i would have to go to to work that saturday night leave work after that and go straight to church and preach the message, you know? They had the showers and stuff down there, so I didn't go in there look smelling, you know? But the night before that, I'll, I'll try to get my message because they up there partying, having a band at night. It's like a restaurant during the day. It's like a, a, a party house at night. But his foods are really, really good. He is good for making, like, uh, different... I won't even call them exotic foods because he's Ethiopian. You see what I'm saying? So he makes a lot of food outside of the box. He does, he have a wonderful shrimp and grits in his style. You know, and he's also one of the judges on uh, Iron Chef sometimes on on uh, the Food Network called Chop. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he's really, really good with his meals and his flavors and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, if you've ever been if you're, if you're over there, you know, Lennox, that's what it is, uh, 125th Street in Lennox. If you're over there, you know, please stop out of Red Rooster. You'll you have a real retreat. One thing I like about Marco is that uh, he's someone who would take the train. He's a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? He'll take the train. No, he take the regular bus like anybody else. He's a regular dude. You get what I'm saying? Regular, regular dude. And he, he he's somebody who's like, listen, you know, I, I'm a regular dude. I like to take the train. If you notice him, you'll just stay in his, his newspaper. You won't look around for anybody to notice him. But if you say, hey, Mr. Mark, how you doing? Big fan. Thank you. He's like, okay, cool. And I saw him across the street one day, a couple of times when I was working at, at security at the time. Yeah, off the train. Good dude. Down to earth, brother. Humble but yet rich. You got what I'm saying? Humble dude. So yeah, y'all. I mean, have anybody been to Sylvia's before? Have anybody been to Amy Ruth's? And if you've been to Sylvia's before, what is your favorite dish or what dish would you normally get? And if you've ever been to Amy, Amy Ruth's, what dish would you get? That's, guess what, by the way, y'all, I am actually going to Amy Ruth's today to go get me her famous banana pudding. And I like banana pudding, y'all. You know, I like banana pudding. So listen, real quick, because it's going to be a short day. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be... so. I actually, when I, I was in the park, it's called Bronx Park East, standing around for like a little while, trying to find people, waiting for people to walk up and down and stuff like that. Guess what? I ran into an actual chef. He's West Indian. Check it out, y'all. This brother had been walking past and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm going to ask him, uh, do we cook at the same time too? You know, because again, it's nothing like taking a walk and maybe even healthy foods. Big brother, what's up, man? We're talking about food on my podcast. You think I can ask you one, two questions? Talk about All right, food, food cooking, food. yeah. So, you know, that's our favorite. You know what I'm saying? By the way, I'm down on this is Manifest Those Podcast, and so we're doing an addition on manifesting your best dish. And so, I'm asking people three questions number one, do you cook? 
Number two, uh, uh, what's your favorite dish? Number three, what might be that ingredient that would distinguish your dish from other people, you know? You don't say so. You cook at Orbit Grill? I'm a chef. Oh my God, you see what I'm saying? That's the reason why, yo, we live over here. So, so big bro, now, so if you're a chef, I'm not gonna ask you what your favorite dish is because you have multiple Rangers. and a plethora, yeah. Rangers. So, so what are one of your signature dishes and what might be a special ingredients for our people who don't cook to be able to use to make that dish special? All right, I think um, if you wanna go gourmet, yeah. you look at about shrimp and salmon, stuff mm. like that, quick, 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 to get them to out of the way. And you have like a seam cabbage at the side, mm. or if you want to go, as I said, the elite way, yeah. you have some asparagus or stuff like that. Mm. But for me, I like to cook all different cuisine. Yeah, yeah that's the experience. I like the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what are one of your, your signature dishes? You I'm have? Jamaican, so guess what? Yes, sir. Come I on. embrace my Jamaican food because mm -hmm. we have Jamaica Day at work. That's good. We have to cook all Jamaican food. The jerk chicken is the special. Yes. The jerk pork, you know, stuff like that. Yes, so. sir. Shout out to all my Jamaican family. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Bless up your heart. Yes, sir. But let me tell you something, man. You have to have the passion for you to cook good. Mm -hmm. And you want to learn more. Every day you want to learn. Yeah. You never know it all. That's right. That's all I have to say. Yo, bro, thank you so much, Bless man. Up. Bless, Bless up. up, man. Much One blessed love, to you. peace. What? Yeah, y'all. So he was a good dude, man. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, I like what he said. He says, listen, general overall, you got to have the heart, man. You have to have the love to be able to cook for people. You feel what I'm saying? You can't cook and not have a heart. And you can't really love, not love people. And, and and cook. You can't do that. You gotta yo. Know, you gotta have some type of love in your heart. You gotta have some type of you know what I'm saying something. And by the way, y'all want to let you know that Dave have two mis two di two uh, meals from uh whoa, whoa okay so one from Sylvia one from Amy Ruth says catfish and grits from Mrs Sylvia and he says uh yeah he get the beef ribs collard greens and yams from Amy Ruth bars bars bars. Last time I had their turkey wings yams and mac. And it was like, psh, heaven, heaven. <laughs> it was like heaven, y'all. My boy Jay, that's from the Bronx, I know he cook. He can't sit there and tell me he don't, you know? But he's been on his, uh, I know he's been on his healthy stuff too at the same time too, you know? Oh, wow, guess what? My big brother Johnny Hall is on the line. Let me tell you something. That dude's a cook too. He laid a smack down. I don't care what nobody say. He's a cook. Yes, he is. And nobody said anything, by the way, Johnny. And I'm going to tell you something. Also, my boy Marlon Reed. Henry Torres, what's up, bro? Henry, do me a favor. Give me a call. Side note. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, Tarika, what do you what do you cook? And anybody cook? I know I know. you're probably, uh, you know, at work. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, really admire y'all. And I thank y'all so much for being at work. You know what I'm saying? And still listening in. So, listen, y'all. Um, I ran into two brothers, you know. Uh, they're not brothers, literally. But one is Brian and one is Chris. <laughs> and, and, and listen to what he said. Guess what, y'all? I'm here with Brian and Chris, the two dapper dudes out here in the Bronx. And uh, we, we're talking about food. And y'all know what it is. So I'm asking Brian, I'm asking Chris, what might be their favorite dish? So both of y'all cook, by the way? I mean, I don't cook right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's so all good. You know, no, don't yeah, feel bad about it. I don't even know how to cook. Yeah, yeah. All right, no doubt you yeah. cook. You cook this? Yeah, yeah. I be cooking sometimes spaghetti or meatballs. All right. Like that. Okay, so okay. And, it's, you know? and that's the good thing about it. It's not even about rather people cook or if they're a chef or stuff like that. Right. But you know your own comfort food. I remember all I knew how to cook was eggs. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anybody know how to cook? Everybody know how to cook that. Yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So what about your dish, which is spaghetti? You just said, right? Yeah. And you you cook anything else besides spaghetti also? Nah, not really. You know? Okay. Yeah. Now, is that your favorite dish, by the way? Yeah, it is. That's what's up. That's up. And so, what what ingredient that you use in spaghetti that makes it so good to you? Say, so, yeah, I just be adding some seasoning on the like meatballs and stuff, and it's just hair, bro. It's so all it good, is, bro. bro. Yeah. That's, how it is. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You gonna cook at any time? Yeah, probably eventually later on. That's yeah, what's man. Up. Follow me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate yeah, you, man. Appreciate and hit me up, all right? Joe, definitely, man. Thank, thank you, you, B. Thank you. Some people cook and some people don't. All I'm saying was, see, here's the deal. You know, we got, we got what they call this millennial and Gen Z era, right? Millennial and Gen Z era where people, you know, they spoil. They don't cook, you know, but but they get hungry enough. They'll learn how to cook something. And so it was so funny. I thought that the funny thing about it was that I spoke to Brian. I said to Brian, I says, well, you don't cook. He says, no, I don't cook anything. And I says, all right. But the only thing I remember I used to cook was eggs. He says, oh, yeah, everybody cook eggs. I was like, but you said you don't cook. Champ. 
But I understand he don't cook like the big, the big meals and stuff like that. It's just good to be able to go outside, speak to people. I felt so good making their day. And by the way, I, I gained some subscribers, you know, and uh, they're like, yo, when, I hope that you, I don't know if y'all looking today. I don't know if you're following, but uh, shout out to all of y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Hameen is saying that's all I used to cook is eggs. <laughs> Laugh out loud. It's the easiest thing. Absolutely, man. Look, I had egg sandwiches, eggs for dinner. <laughs> David saying eggs. <laughs> it's like five ways to make eggs. All right, yo, Dave, do me a favor. Name those five ways. Bars, let's put you to the test. And by the way, Dave Cook, my boy Johnny Cook, um, um, he's not on the line, but, but this other dude, John Arrington, you know what I'm saying? He, my bro, he cook. He, he makes some good salmon, you know? Let me ask you a question. What's your, Marlon, you cook? I don't know if Marlon Reed cook. I know he shoot movies. And he does audio and stuff like that, but I know he cook. I'm sure you can't live where you live, bro, and not cook. And I, I would have said where you were, but that's just a little bit too. Now nah, I ain't trying to draw nobody <laughs> place of business or where they live, or whatever the case would be. But yeah, but can I tell you something? Speaking about the millennials and stuff like that, and the Gen Zs and all that, I'm walking. I'm I'm actually just talking. You know, I'm talking and you know filling in some of the gaps so that people can see that I'm actually recording. And that's how I gained a lot of people to even come and you know want to speak to me. Cause I'm talking to the camera, talking to the camera, talking to the camera, and guess what? We had this little, this little young dude who get, tried to come up and walk up on me and stuff like that. And uh, I thought he was kind of cool, he was about 13, but look at him. In a social media era, so it is more than likely. I seen somebody just the other day yeah. with a yo. Yeah, what's up, my guy? Up, Let me ask you a question. You cook? Huh? How old are you? Thirteen. You thirteen? You cook anything? Of course. <laughs> what you cook? All, everything. <laughs> what's everything for you? Jamaican food. Jamaican food? Yeah. And so what's one of your favorite dishes? Uh, uh, uh. It's gonna, it's gonna sound a little racist. It's so good. Talk to me. Oxtails with rice and peas and cabbage. That's not racist. That's good. I love me some oxtails. With some, a side some... of mac and cheese and fried chicken. With a side of mac and cheese? You know how to cook any of it? Yeah. Who you learn how to cook from? My mommy and daddy. That's what's up, man. What's my you... And your grandmommy? Yeah, my grandmommy. That's, that's what I'm talking about, yo. Thank you, my dudes. You know what I'm saying? Hi, Stay up, bro, bro. You want Instagram anything like that? Huh? You want Instagram anything like that? Yeah. What's your Instagram? Marcus Yeoman. Marcus Yeoman. Marcus Yeoman 1. Marcus Yeoman 1? Yeah. All right, we're going to look you up. All right, bro. All right, bye-bye. All right, peace, bro. Let me ask you a question. What's up? You see the kid with the with the, with the bat? Yeah. He look like Jaden Smith. Do you believe? You, you, you agree? Nah. You don't think so? Nah. All right, I thought, at one time from afar, I thought he looked, I was like, he look like Jaden Smith. He don't know how to hit. All right, well, we're going to, all right, thank you. Yo, I love kids because they rock, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's amazing. All they got to come. And I and I wanted to, you know, interview one of the younger people, you know, but I was like, they might not be interested in speaking to an old dude like myself, whatever the case it be. And all of a sudden, he came rolling up on me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what's going on, kid? Kids rock. By the way, shout out to that young man. I hope that he's watching. I'm not too sure. He better be in school, actually. He better be. He better be watching. He better be in school. I don't care if it's Friday or not. But yeah, really good kid. You know what I'm saying? You know, we had a, a chance to talk afterwards. We had a lot of laughs. The, what we were laughing at was that there was a kid that I was talking about who looked like Jalen Smith. Um, uh, Jaden? Jaden Smith, right? Was it Jalen or Jaden? Somebody help, help me out. You know what I'm saying? But Will Smith's younger son. You know what I'm saying? He looked just like him, I, I thought, because he had the braids and stuff like that. And they were practicing baseball. And so you know how you have the thing where you could just put the ball on, on top of the, you know, the thing that you just, you, you practice on, you know, hitting it. He missed it like three times, and that's why we were still laughing, you know. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to interview him now because uh, you can't even hit the ball that's right there, champ. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. Nah, I wasn't judging him. But shout out to all of them. Shout out to all of the people that we were, you know, that was nice enough to stop and speak to a brother like myself, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, to make it much, much, much interesting, you know. And so, yeah, y'all, um, again, I wanted this to be a half-hour edition. But, yeah, but, you know, listen, we got awarding goods that's in the house and for some reason, you know, so so funny about awarding goods. I have a template for him um, uh, because he has a business and stuff like that, which I'm going to have to do Monday because it just did not come through to my system. I got I had two other videos that just did. I want to come through. Maybe it's the shortage of my Wi-Fi because where I am. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm up here talking to y'all and things are going back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, I ain't going to panic. I'm going to just keep talking and hope that everybody's still here. Nah, but yeah, y'all, I love cooking. I love eating. One of the favorite dishes of mine, I like to make meatloaf, or macaroni and cheese, but I can't eat ketchup. So I don't do the, the meatloaf with ketchup. You know, I do a meatloaf with brown, brown gravy, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. You know, so that's what I do sometimes. And I, I make sure I put the onions, the, the green onions and, and the, and the, uh, you know, the, but not the green, the green pepper and the, and the onions 
together. It's, it's just like a nice savoring, you know, with some of the broth and chicken broth and stuff like that. Rather, you know, now this is really, really good when you try it. You know, I just love me some good, good food, y'all. Good food. Good food. I mean, delicious food. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's nothing like it. I, I admire Thanksgiving time. You know, when I come into the building I live in, it smells like Thanksgiving every single day because we have all different types of ethnicities, you know, and all different types of cultures and stuff like that, Albanians and all of that. And sometimes when you smell a, com a combination, you know, of some of the foods, yo, man, it's like, ah, oh, man, walking into this building like walking to Thanksgiving every single day. You feel what I'm saying? Every single day. <laughs> and so, yeah, so Hamina's saying not all the... Oh, not all the outside food all the time. Right. Absolutely. No, nah, we can't. No, nah, not outside food all the time, you know. But listen, y'all, this is a short edition today because I have some things I have to take care of. But I wanted to make sure I came on and have some good fun with some good food. Let me ask you a question. What's your favorite dish? You know what I'm saying? And what 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 ingredient do you put in that particular dish that make it so distinguishing from others or make you say, look, every single time. Do you have a dish that you can eat all the time? Do you have a certain dessert? You can eat all the time, you know? Listen, I'm always for that, y'all. Always for some good food. If you got some good food, you invite me to your house, I'll come. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You ain't got no food when you come. To, uh, you ask me to come to your house. I ain't coming. No. <laughs> I ain't coming. <laughs> I ain't coming out. No, you know? But nah, it's, it's always, let me tell you, food is something that uh, represents unity. You know, that's why I, one of my favorite uh, movies is called Soul Food. You know, because again, it's something about, you know, bringing a culture together, no matter who you are, um, I want to shout out to my my uh, Hispanic brothers and sisters who helped me to understand what son culture was. You know, what I'm saying I love uh, uh, the rice with uh, what's what's the name? What's that word, Dave? Oh man, oh man, what's what's oh man? But uh, it's the rice. It's like the little rice and peas that they do have. You know, and uh, I, it's, it slipped my mind because I'm on here with y'all. You know, but I, I've been saying it all day. Go, bang, Bang, Bangoles, Mongolies, Mongolies, right? But I like those. Stop playing. Don't, don't tease me. Yo, Jay, please, it's not Mongoles, Mongolies, right? I can eat that with the rice all day. That's just me. I can eat that with the rice all day. My boy Johnny Hall made a lasagna when we had visited him. And I mean, yo, I can't stop thinking about that lasagna, really, honestly, you know? And it was, man, psh, I could have ate the whole pan. I mean, really, with the ricotta. I love ricotta, you know, for real. I love ricotta. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, said, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I love Mongolis. I also, you know, you know what, what I also love? Um, well, there's some exotic foods I'm not going to get into. Maybe that be that might be another addition, you know. But I also love, like I said, some good turkey wings. You get what I'm saying? Um, everybody, well, the majority of people love chicken. I really fell in love with some good baked chicken wings i love baked chicken wings if it's done right you know how many people put the mustard in there their, their chicken wings to, to to season it you know I, I love me some good chicken wings you know i love me some good rice you know good white rice you can never go back you know it's never go bad you know but again if if uh we're talking about spanish food of course i like that with the mongolians i like the uh Benny, you know henry where you at son <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know what else i like um I said some culture, right? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. But, you know, some regular baked chicken. I don't know if they have a specific name for it. And that regular baked chicken with some white rice, always good with me at the same time, too. You know? Yeah. I like me some good stuff. I like the goat. You know? And then if we want to look at the West Indian food, you know, I got I to gotta have me some good curry, you know? But I like, they got like the sweet and sour, like, uh, sauce that, that go with like the, the uh, shrimp. You know what I'm saying? It's like the big broiled shrimp that they make. It's, I mean, yo, it's delicious, y'all. I don't, ah, man. And I, I'll get that with just the regular rice and peas. You know what I'm saying? I went to Golden Crescent one time. But then, then there's, a, there's a place, I don't know if y'all know anything about this place. It's called Gold Star. And they need to write me a check as much as I talk about them. I don't talk about them on here, but I talk about them someplace else, you know? And Gold Star, yo, their food, they got this ginger lemonade. I don't know if anybody have heard it. This ginger lemonade. If you're ever sick, you get that ginger lemonade. Ah, oh, first of all, it's so much ginger that it didn't make you go crazy. You're crying all day. 
but ginger lemonade is always oh man right mongolies thank you son go yeah i'm good with yeah is the g silent <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah you know and i mean it's really really delicious let me ask you a question what's your favorite restaurant besides your favorite food you know obviously we, we said sylvia's we got amy roots you know um i want to give a shout out also to best stop fish fry you know out there that's my go-to place when i can't get to sylvia's or, or amy roots at the same time too you know again it's just always good to have y'all some good food listen y'all this is it y'all i want to let y'all know I, I just wanted y'all to see some of the fun that we've been having this particular week and uh we got some other interviews and stuff like that that's coming up and i i just love food and i love people who make food general overall you don't ever want to make food with a bad heart you don't ever want to make food with a bad attitude you know i don't want nobody to serve me no food when they look like they've been sucking on lemon all their all their lives you know you have to have the same kind of character traits you know you should have it should be a happy moment and when you're going through certain things your mama make you something to eat all of a sudden you start to feel better when you get some food in your system especially some good food there's a lot of love in it you get what i'm saying when, when you take your time you know and make some really really good food you know um yeah y'all so again that's what it's all about man you know i love me some grits <laughs> you know you know <laughs> you know some grits and i love um you know I, I love to smell breakfast in the morning time love me some good lunch you know what's a good lunch food beside a sandwich right you know but again i'll eat dinner for, for lunch and i'll eat dinner for dinner <laughs> love me some good food i don't look like i eat but i look i eat like a, a fat kid y'all i eat i eat y'all you know but look y'all i know that you've been eating i know some of y'all gonna eat now because it's about lunch time you know and i want to say look you have a wonderful wonderful weekend you know uh be safe out there watch this go get something good to eat i'm about to go throw down as soon as i knock down all this stuff i'm gonna give you something good to eat you know and I don't care what nobody say. If I'm feeling down or whatever the case be, I get some good food. I'm no longer, I'm no longer out of it. I promise you. But look, y'all, this is your boy Donald Francis. And uh, this is Manifest Thoughts Podcast. Hope that you've enjoyed this edition. Go back and uh, refer to it. Shout out to all Bobby Flay, Michael Simons, Mr. Marcus. You know what I'm saying? Sil Mrs. Sylvia, God bless the dead today. Mrs. Amy, Mrs. Amy Ruth, God bless the dead today. You know what I'm saying? And their establishments. They did a beautiful job with the foods that they do have. And all of you who cook, we're saying that all of you who love to cook, all of you are still learning how to cook, you know? You know what I'm saying? You'll never, ever learn until you get in the kitchen and go do something, you know? So y'all, look, have a wonderful weekend. And until Monday, same time, maybe same place, I'm not too sure, you know? Nonetheless, God bless. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, everybody. And where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay. God bless.